Y254. Imagine. So tonight, we want to find out if I am depressed or I have a problem or I'm abusing drugs in a negative way and also maybe I have a business idea and I want to implement it but I do not have enough capital. Today we want to find out what options we have to deal with such cases and in studio tonight we have Junrita Muridi who is the deputy chairperson of Straight Talk Association. I also have Robert Ndegwa who is the brand manager of Straight Talk organization. Ladies and gentlemen, you are so much welcome to our studios tonight. Thank you very much. So first things first, what is Straight Talk all about? Okay, Straight Talk is a group formed by the youth and uh, it's a group to address the issues facing the youth. Mm -hmm. Most impo importantly, we look on the issues of depression because we see like most of the youths today are committing suicide. We don't know why. Mm, some of them don't have good guidance from back home. Mm. Mm, people are facing like economic issues leading them to drug abuse and other things. Mm -hmm. So we like we find a forum where we as the youth can help ourselves because like you, you look at the counselors, most of them they are not young. So you go asking for advice and you, you j just get advice which you cannot apply. So we find a solution whereby as the youth, how can we help ourselves to grow ourselves? Because in Kenya, the youth have been greatly neglected. Yeah, thank you. So maybe Robert can tell us what was the inspiration behind this particular name, Street Talk? Uh, the inspiration was after a certain girl was uh, abused sexually. And uh, because she had no one to talk to, mm. we had to reach to her and talk to her. Then we found out that uh, we can uh, maybe use a, a bigger platform to address these issues because uh, we understand that it is not just one person who is facing such things. Mm -hmm. There are more people out there who are facing such things and we'd want to address them in a more bigger platform so that we can be able to reach more people. Mm. Yes. So what's, what's the motive behind this initiative? The motive here, mm -hmm. it's to change lives. Mm. It is to change so that, you know, when you condemn and say that drugs are not good, you must show that person how are they not good, how are they, uh, how are they not going to affect me or they are going to affect me. For example, there is this joke that uh, goes around our campuses, eh? At the, when you take weed, mm. it is going to make you go high and you are going to read so much, study so well throughout the night, then tomorrow you are going to remember everything and uh, and uh, pass those exams. But in the real sense, we don't talk about health. The long-term effect. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen after we use marijuana? What is going to happen after the excessive use of alcohol? Mm. You get. Mm. So it is to address these issues so that uh, you can know them. Mm -hmm. So that even when, uh, as you take those drugs, as you abuse them, you know it's not good and uh, it's not good for your health. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I meant to understand that a person that is abusing drugs takes quite a long time to maybe recover and get back to their senses. How do you plan to deal with such situations to make sure that you've changed these people completely? Okay, I think like right now we identify the persons mm -hmm. and then we make sure that they have joined rehabilitation centers. Okay, it's quite a tedious issue because some of the parents are not like willing to pay because they, they are like how can you abuse drugs and then expect me to pay for you but we are looking on to educating our parents and even looking for funding from elsewhere to help our members to curb the issue of drug addiction so what ways are you using to um to raise sexual uh to raise sexual awareness uh we hold events actually that's what we have been doing for some time now you see, when we hold a big event and uh, invite a big artist, mm -hmm. people are going to turn out in big numbers. They are going to come. When they come, we use that opportunity mm. to address them. And also we can address them like in this platform right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is another way of addressing the youths. So has, has, let's talk of maybe a conference of or, or what you've spoken about. Yes. Is it, has it been productive enough mm -hmm. to reach the target group you want to reach yes it has been productive because uh, after reaching those people after holding those events mm -hmm. you find that uh, some want to to have more reach to us mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. They they contact us and uh, tell us I've been facing this and this, this and this, and we try how we can help them. Mm-hmm. But so far, we are not at a point whereby we can uh, we can rehabilitate those maybe who have been affected by drugs or anything. That's why we do not have enough funds for now mm-hmm. because we just started uh, not so long ago. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, Junrita, maybe you can take us through the process that you take as an association to ensure that you deal with a person's depression. Okay, on matters depression, mm-hmm. first we we ask the person, like most of the times, most, most of them send me emails. They don't want to speak out in public, maybe on the Instagram page, on the Facebook page, they don't want. So when they send the email, I'll send the I'll send the issue in anonymous. Like I don't say that it's Robert Ndegwa who has said that he has depression. Mm-hmm. So when I send, I'll get we'll get discussions from all the team straight talk in our various groups. Mm-hmm. Then we'll find the solution which we can help the person according to the level of depression. If that is mild depression, mostly in campus you find people are depressed because maybe they were at broken, they broke up with their boyfriends. Mm-hmm. So like you s- you send them the so when you send them the feedback and they talk to you you tell them you have to do this procedure to detox yourself from the depression Mm -hmm. like then after like a week you check out on them and you're like you see how they are going on and most of them are going on well actually so is this the same case with dealing with people who are abusing drugs does it take the same like period okay with drugs is is kind of difficult because like you can drugs the the addiction is almost permanent so just to go up to rehabilitation but with depression it's so easy because it's about the mindset with mm-hmm. depression mostly in campus the depression is not that serious it's about petty issues financial crisis something small but with the drugs we have a long way to go and say that but we'd like to ask for support from our government because the ministry of youth is there to help the youth and most of the youth do not get help to curb these issues of especially of on drug addiction mm-hmm. Most of them have come from the rehab centers and they have gone back to drugs. We don't know why and we are trying to look for the solution to that. So Robert, I meant to understand that this organization also helps young people who have business ideas be in a position to acquire funds. Talk to us about that. Uh, I'm going to give an example with myself. Uh, I'm a comrade at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology mm-hmm. and I take a uh, bachelor's degree in uh, economics now being a comrade i'm also a businessman and uh, that's why i'm in a position to reach those people who have business ideas so that maybe we can know how we can help them now uh, when i talk to them most of the times i give uh, i use an example of uh, warren buffet i guess right now he's the second richest in the world if i'm not wrong according to the last statistics i read and uh, the guy became rich after doing so many partnerships now the thing is when you find a comrade with a business idea he's going to tell you that uh, he has no sources of finances but this is how we advise people if you do not have enough funds we we believe that you have a little savings you can partner with another person then uh, after you partner you can uh, use that partnership and maybe go to even greater heights because myself i started with the uh, partnerships before maybe i put up my some of my businesses in juja and out of juja mm-hmm. you get but uh, saying that you are going to start a loan unless you have the the full uh, the full amount now, but when we find that uh, the business idea is so huge and maybe it's a multi-million idea mm-hmm. of which bado tunataka kuona kama tutafika hapo, we can uh, still uh, lobby for funds from uh, NGOs and maybe even the, the youth the youth fund from the government. Yes, so far we have been able to motivate a few individuals, mm-hmm. like um, for example, Straight Talk Association. Uh, it has people from all campuses. I'm from J Quad. Mm-hmm. We have June from uh, another campus. We have Ivin from another campus and others from other campuses, so that we can be able to reach each and every person. Mm-hmm. Now, like from my area, what we've been able to do, those people who have come to us with business ideas, I've last with June, I've last with uh, Ivin. Mm-hmm. Then we've seen how we we can do it. Now you find that uh neza changia hii pesa neza changia hii pesa then by the end of the day if the business becomes successful mm-hmm. I'm going to get a share she's going to get a share mm-hmm. but eventually the owner of the idea is going to get the the greater share mm-hmm. in Juja we have uh, uh, one of our friend in Gashororo 
uh, so far, he has a hotel. We have another one from Juja, but uh, has put uh, uh, a boutique in uh, Gedorai. But it is just after they brought the their business ideas on table, mm -hmm. then we discussed and uh, decided how we can help them. So if you are from Juja, and uh, you know I'm from there, I talk to people because uh, I do politics, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm in opposition politics, I happen to be among the leaders in the opposition politics, Juja. Pluto is there for you. Pluto is there when you need to talk to. Straight Talk Association, we can be able to help you, not necessarily to fund your ideas, but uh, we can do some partnerships and you are going to see your way to somewhere. Mm -hmm. When you partner in your first, second or third business, maybe you'll be able to sponsor yourself in the fourth business, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. So maybe Jungrita, talk to us about how easy is it for you as an association to accept an idea that comes in, especially a business idea, and ensure that you're going to like cater for it to the fullest? Okay, in business, we look for the, viabil the viability of the business, mm -hmm. I think so. Although I'm a law student, I know some business, but in business, we look for how the business is going to help us. Because if you come with an idea that is maybe far-fetched or which will not generate income, that idea might not be so welcome. But when we have the ideas which are, let's say, market worthy, we come together, we join as a group, and we say, who wants to be a partner in this business, mm -hmm. just as my friend has said. And then the ones who are, who are ready to put up their savings into the business, they join. And after some time, you see that they're getting progress. You see that someone has opened their own business out of their first business, which they were together. Maybe they were together five. Then the next time, they have their own separate businesses. Maybe where you come from, up country, you set up a business, you employ someone there. Because in Kenya, the issue is the issue about the youth and economy is because most of the youths want to be employed, employed in jobs where they will get a job where they'll be, they'll be, they'll be paid. Like, they'll be paid every month, but then sometimes it's so difficult, so you have to start your own business. You can't even start a business of maybe farming. Maybe you have, like, maybe I have a shamba, but then, like, I have an ancestral shamba at home, and then I don't, I'm not utilizing it. I can talk to someone else. Let's say I can talk to my friend Robert or someone, and then they're like, I would like to plant potatoes. So, like, we, we come to an agreement that this, this will be a percentage, this will be my percentage. So after that... Uh, the more also like the first time maybe we want to grow as much we go to the next time then we can start now like going our own separate ways to to make more bigger businesses because like when you start as a person pekiako it gets so difficult like most of the time the finances it becomes a serious issue mm -hmm. yeah so do you guys have like a social media platform where we can find you yeah we we have our Instagram page Street Stroke Association mm -hmm. and our Facebook page Street Stroke Association. So Facebook Street Talk, Instagram Street Talk, Instagram Street Talk. Remember, you can still be part of this conversation by simply sending in your question or comment, beginning with the word by news or tweeting us at Yvonne Anula at Y254 channel. The hashtag to use is Y254 update. So, how are you planning to promote talent growth? Yes, uh, for example, myself, uh, I'm also an artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I understand what uh, many artists go through. In fact, uh, I have a friend of mine who is a spoken word artist who is called Mr. Weck. Uh, and there is a time he wrote in his status that uh, we as artists, we have bills to pay. So I discourage artists from going and performing free shows mm -hmm. completely. Because uh, most of artists, they do it as uh, work. They do it to get means of livelihood, so I discourage them from uh, from uh, doing any from doing free shows. Even us, Strike Talk Association, when we do these kind of shows, there is that entry fee, mm. and uh, whatever has been paid by people to enter and maybe to see these big artists, we also have uh, those that platform for for the upcoming artists when you wanna chipuka. Mm. Then we give them a chance to perform, whereby we are going to give something small at the end of the show. Mm. You get and uh, we give them a platform and we pay them after they perform that's how we help them then we we motivate them and uh, talk to them those who have talents and uh, have not been able to 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 make their way through we still help them for example we have an artist in emb records right now mm -hmm. he's called uh, peter peace he just uh, released his uh, first song uh, like uh, two months ago peter peace came to us and uh, he told us 
he has a talent, but before he joins a campus, he want to see something out of the talent coming up. So it was a very hard task, task to even convince his parents that the son has a very great talent. Mm-hmm. So I went in EMB Records, I booked him a space to record, he record, did an audio, and the other day he did a video, and right now he's going somewhere. No Peter Peace, when he goes on and does a collab with another artist, mm-hmm. at least we can say that there was a seed planted in a straight talk association. Mm-hmm. That's how we got him. I also think on the same issue, mm-hmm. especially on the ladies, most of them they come to they, they inbox me and they're like June now I'd like to do modeling I'd like to do acting mm-hmm. but I don't get the platforms so right now we have an agency in Nakuru uh, the okay our child lady Ivin is recruit and uh, she's recruiting members there females mm-hmm. to join the agency so they can contact her on Instagram at Royal Temptress yeah and then they can join them and then on the acting mm-hmm. we, we we are majoring on forming forming a, a group where we can make our own films or maybe we can go to perform in theaters because we have many poets many spoken word artists many script writers but then when you go to national theater mm-hmm. we, when you start acting the first time they'll give you a very small role and most of the youth they just give up at that point so we are looking for a platform where we as the youth can start as our own because even right now on TV, the people who are always acting are the ones who are, who are always acting even when you were kids, yes. So like the upcoming people, they, you find that you are upcoming, you have talent, but then you don't get the platform. So you want to start our own films, we go across the country having small, small kids and stuff, yeah. So uh, what are like your target, your biggest target, Brooke, for now? Our biggest target for now is to start uh, our own talent club with our own dance crew, our own actors, our own singers, poets, and everything, yeah. Mm-hmm. And also to to reach more campuses, because right now, I think we are in Kenyatta University, Dioma Kenyatta University of Agriculture, um, Moi, Kabarak, and Catholic University of East Africa. So like, we want to reach to other universities because we have very many campuses in Kenya. And if we come together as the youth in Kenya, we can make a change because it's time for change and the time is through, yeah. So Robert, when I hear about Street Talk Association, I'm probably interested in knowing how you're going to deal with pertinent issues that are facing young people in a way that they will understand. You know young people are stubborn. Yes. Now, uh, myself, I've ever been a motivational speaker of which I still do motivation. I remember uh, when I did my KCSE and I became a high school teacher, mathematics teacher from one to from four before near easy dreadlocks before joining university and uh, there is a school i went to talk to that is uh, my my girls to talk to young people and there is something i realized that uh, when uh, maybe somebody who is grown and uh, maybe even more mature and have a suit and end up with sometimes it becomes so tricky for them to even uh, comprehend what he's saying but when we go with a team of young people like from university and we visit a certain high school mm-hmm. uh, uh, this one is going to say that uh, I'm from uh, KCA University I do this course the other one will say I do actuarial science from KU University and we'll be able to 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 present like all courses maybe I do a business course is doing a health course is doing another kind of a course now after we talk we ask these high schoolers to see us. Mm-hmm. Then those uh, interested in doing business courses, they are going to see that guy who does a business course. Mm-hmm. The, the, the others are going to see that one who does a certain course. Like I'll be able to mentor those minds specifically that want to do a business course, you get? Mm-hmm. The other one will mentor those people who want to do medicine, who want to do surgery, pharmacy, and uh, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. So we are able to reach them at the point of need but uh, when it comes to general motivation we just tell them that you can do it because you have the brains and mm. you have god <laughs> yes so uh, do you currently have partners in this organization or the people you're looking up to maybe you want them to partner with you yes right now we have shares so that people can come and buy shares maybe we start but if you are there and you have millions or you have money uh, in bank eh, and they are doing nothing 
let me tell you something. In Straight Talk Association, we have people with multi-million ideas mm -hmm. and they can turn those millions you have in your account into billions. So if you want to partner with us, the floor is open for anyone. You are going to benefit and we are going to benefit. We want to see actors in Straight Talk Association acting in Hollywood films. We want to see musicians performing in uh, very great platforms, as in we hear someone that started in Straight Talk Association is uh, the next WizKid, is the next Diamond Platinum mm -hmm. to get. So if anyone wants to fund with us, I'm a funders, you can join in. You are very welcome. So maybe your final words, Jun Rita and Robert, your final words are concerning this particular topic. And maybe to someone who wants to get involved with the organization. Okay, my final word is that uh, yeah, Street Talk is home to all the youths. We are, you are welcome, whether you are in college, campus, KMTC, any other college, any other um, higher education platform. And also, I want to thank our members for the support f so far. I never knew that this, the group would go this far. Actually, I'd given up and I'd texted my, the chairperson and told her, let's dissolve this group. And she was like, no, once, a dream, once you start planting a seed, you must watch it until it grows. So thank you to Team Straight Talk. And mm, more we, we are requesting for more members from all the campuses. If your campus is not yet a member, please find us on Instagram at Straight Talk Association. And thank you so much for to Y254 for this show. Robert? Now, uh, to add something on what Juna said, uh, Straight Talk Association, uh, we just don't involve ourselves with only campus students. The floor is open for everyone even those street kids because uh, like we usually even perform those uh, those street walks we visit those kids we go even to children home children's homes so we are not uh, we are not closed to university students mm -hmm. we are open to everyone who can join us now we can continue to interact with you and uh, follow me on my IG handle that is the Pluto the underscore Pluto T H W -E E underscore Pluto and uh, Twitter activist Pluto. Yes, because uh, what I understand is that uh, we want to liberate our youths from the bondage of deprivation, from the bondage of poverty, from the bondage of poor education and any other kind of bondage. So you can feel free to interact and to even fund us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Generita and Robert for coming through. We really appreciate it. So you've heard it. It's not about the problems that you have. Of course, no one owns all the problems in the world. There are people who can help you, and these are the Street Talk Association. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on the program. My name is Yvonne, and you'll enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>